Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. I'm going to show you the solutions for week 5 assignment of introduction to programming in C course. So guys, please watch the video till the end because if you skip, you may miss the content in between because uh, these are codes. So if one character you will type wrong, then you will get execution errors. So do watch carefully till the end. So let's see the first question. Write a recursive program that inputs a line of characters from the user. So they gave example here. This is easy. So it should be given in reverse. Uh, it should be output in a reverse order. It's Y S A E S I S I H T. It is complete reverse of the input. So like that we have to get. For that we have to write the code. So I will show you the code now. So guys, this is the code. You you should copy from here to here. Guys, please note it carefully. Compare each and every not line, each and every letter by letter. Because even if you make single mistake, your program will not run, and you will again ask in the comment section that it it is not running like that. So if I get the code, if I get the execution, you also get the execution because the code is same. So you have to carefully note it or you can take screenshot here itself so i hope you have noted it down i will show you the execution now so let's see that so here i'm going to paste it i will again zoom this for you so from here on here to here please copy it carefully you can take a screenshot or pause the video here and simultaneously you can type the program guys don't forget the basic uh, rules like semicolon braces like that so hope you have noted it down i am zooming back again so let's see the compilation i'm clicking on compile and run button to check public test case are passed or not so here there are two public test cases both are showing passed so let's see the private test case by clicking on submit button so here also there are two private test cases and both are passed so our solution is 100% correct here in the main function we are calling the rev string function rev string means uh, the function we have wrote that is this function main function calls the reverse string function and the reverse string function will do its work so let's see the second program so this is second question here there is a collides function it means if the given number is odd then it should give 3n plus 1 otherwise if n is even it should be n by 2 <coughs> if, you, if you can see here f of 7 7 is an odd number so 3 into 7 plus 1 3 into 7 3 into 7 21 plus 1 22 the answer is 22 so like that so i will show you the code so this is first question code i hope you have noted it before and second question code is somewhat bigger than first one so i will show you in parts so let us divide the code into parts so that you can easily note it down so guys from here to here consider it as first part take a screenshot here itself guys don't enter braces multiple times it is only one brace here until this brace uh, you consider it as first part 
you can click a screenshot here it will be easy for you when you type the code so this is the first part and i will show you the second one now this is first one and let's see the second one so friends this is the second part second division of the code so take a screenshot here itself and let's see the other parts this is second one previously i have shown you the first part and let's see the other one if it, if it is existing or not so this is the third part this is the third part of the code so this is third one you can please take take a screenshot here itself okay now only there are three parts this is third part this is second part and the big one bigger one it is first part so hope you have noted it down now i am going to copy this so i am going to copy this and paste it here so if you see that this is first part this is first part of the code sorry uh, up to here next this is second part and this is from here to here it is third part so i am going to click on compile and run button to check public test case passed or not so if you see that public test case there is only one public test case and it is also passed let's see the private test cases by clicking on submit button so all the three private test case are also passed so our solution is 100% correct so let's see the third question third programming question so this is third programming question here uh, first of all i will show you the code and later i will explain this actually this is third question a uh, second question code i will show you the third one now so this is third question code this is there are two parts for this so consider from up to here from here to here first part take a screenshot guys here this is q1 quadrant 1 it is quadrant 2 it is quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 what are these quadrants i will explain you later so this is det det means determinant they are actually asking the block product block product is nothing but the determinant only in matrix we have we have determinant right so it is the det function determinant of quadrant 1 comma k here i have given k so i'll explain you uh, in few moments so copy this code so this is first part and this is second part from here to here second part note it down so now i will explain what is this code briefly 
first of all we have to read a number n such that uh, it represents number of elements we want to read or number of elements we have to enter in the array that is n suppose n equal to 10 or 20 like that actually 10 or 20 is not possible because uh, we have to give the number first of all we take n and next we have to read n elements so for that we use this for loop matrix of i represents uh, in a matrix suppose this is a matrix suppose some elements are there like this so this is 0th position this is first position this is second position like that it is it is called matrix of 0 it means first position like that if matrix of i means ith position in a matrix like that we enter each and every element that means it should read reach uh, read each and every element until n numbers 0 to n minus 1 means total n, n elements so and we should it should print the determinant of the matrix so i am using debt function what is the uh, this debt function means we use recursive call here we have used debt function in this here so let's see what is the debt function if you want to know that we have to go to debt function so debt will give you integer as output so i am using int debt so what the debt function should uh, take it should take the matrix i mean the array of integer array and also it should take number of elements in the array if n equal to 4 then we should return this expression what is this expression i will explain now so here n is equal to 4 means it is definitely 2 into 2 matrix then only we have 4 elements right so in a 2 by 2 matrix how do we uh, calculate the determinant by multiplying these two and minus multiplying these two that means 1 into 4 minus 2 into 3 right here this one is matrix of 1 it means the first position i mean matrix of 0 actually this is 0th position this is first this is second position this, this is uh, it is third position so 0 into what is for third position m of 3 uh, 2 means first position i mean here this is first position this is 0th position 1 into 4 that's what i have given here 0 into 3 minus 1 into 4 that is here 0 into 3 1 into 4 this is asterisk symbol that is multiplication so 0th element into third element minus first element into second element so 0th into third I, I will again draw that 0th element first element second element third element 0 into 3 that is this expression minus minus first into second position element all this is in the case of if n equal to 4 elements that means if it is a 2 by 2 matrix otherwise we have to divide the n into n with 4 that means 4 equal quadrants why why i have done the uh, done like that means you can see here here they have given array partition it into four quadrants of equal size if we n equal to 4 then we can directly add uh, multiply ad minus bc that means cross um, cross multiplication and subtraction between them but if it is more than uh, 4 means we should do the process like here they have mentioned so all this code rep, uh, is represented by this one so here we should return debt into q1 comma k into q4 comma k minus q2 comma k into q3 comma k again it is recursive call and again the 
this will do like similarly this one here each part will represent like this that means the main uh, bigger matrix is divided into this each quadrant suppose there is big big matrix like this we divide that code into smaller number of 2 by 2 matrices like that so this is the code guys once again i will show you the code hope you got the concept clear so this up to here it is first part first part and now i am going to show you second part so this is second part so here we will call the dead function uh, mean recursive call and the main in main function we call this uh, recursive function and we uh, we will write the what is the recursive function in the first part only there again there are two cases if n equal to 4 it is one case and Uh, if n is not is equal to 4 and it is another case so guys this is the program let's see the compilation i am going to copy this so i am going to copy and paste it here mm -hmm. let's see the compilation so here only one public test case and it is also passed let's see the private test case by clicking on submit button so the private test case there are also three tri uh, three private test cases and both all three are passed so friends these are the solutions for week 5 assignment answers so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section so for further more videos like this keep supporting our channel until then goodbye thank you